I had a nice one come up after the dry we missed it you got the green weenie it's a nice brown heck yeah beautiful Got a giant. Come here. Oh, yeah. Wow. Nice. See you, beautiful. Right out of here. Come on. How beautiful he is. Just a little guy. See you, buddy. You know, I deal with some things like, uh, Getting a little too ahead of myself. Um, a little bit like anxious, not a little. <laughs> but it seems like ever since I picked this thing up, I've been able to control myself better on the water. Not so much in everyday life some days, but like when I'm here, I just take my time. I enjoy myself, I look around. Guys, if you guys have a problem, I promise you, you start picking this thing up and you are and you keep at it. And I know it's going to suck for the first few months. I know it is because I dealt with it too. But I promise you, your life will be so much better. I mean, look at this, man. There's not a single person around me. There ain't nobody here to judge me. Ain't nobody here to compete with me. I'm chilled. It's the middle of July. Could wear a hoodie. I got the GoPro out today too, but Morty and I both know what that means. I'm not saying it's a bad day. It's just every time I turn it on, I don't hook into anything. And then as soon as I take it off, hook up. So sorry if this video is kind of all over the place today. I'll try to make it work. But yeah, guys. Absolutely beautiful. I want to give you guys a tip too. Where are your best high percentage points in this section right here? Well, you got this big, nice log down. Any cast that you can get around this log is a definite. See this rock right here with this little overhanging piece right there? They will sit underneath that. Do not be afraid to take off your dropper and keep that dry on. And make a couple of drifts through here so you're not getting hung up. But this is a really good spot right here that I found. You have this current coming in. You got their house literally right there. There's a couple of rocks stacked on top of each other. They tuck themselves under. And when the sun comes up, they hide underneath of it. They want to get away from any wildlife or predators. So they sit underneath that. You make your drift. They will literally come out of it to eat it. They see things, man. They see it. And don't think because it's really small, a really small fly that they ain't going to see it. Because that's not the case at all. But I'm still using this green weenie with a dry. I mean, I'm getting bites on it. There's no need for me to change. I'm just going to keep it on. Um, most of the time, I'll change like three or four times until I find out what they really want. But I've caught all my nice size fish and everything off of this. There's no need to change it. Let's get to this next little spot right there. I love the way the stream sets up. I'm back up where I caught those big ones at last time. And he just ate the blowtorch made by Lively Legs. That is unbelievable. I 
that's where he just came out of is out of there i'm going up this i don't care look at that bye little fella he just came right out of this main run i'm hoping there's another one in there out of this guy. Put you down here. See if well, I just caught a nice one from there, you guys seen. Look at this guy. Oh, yeah. They love that blowtorch, man. Last look at him. Wow, this place is unbelievable. Well, I'm still exploring the top of the stream here. I get to this hole and I see two fish surfacing. One's underneath that limb because he took me underneath there. And then this guy came out and absolutely destroyed it. Look at that back fin. He loved that elk hair caddis. All right, let's get him home, huh? Look at that beautiful tail. Bye. See you, little dude. Oh, that was sweet. Another one on the caddis. Came out of that little spot right there. Beautiful. Love their tails. And their... It's unbelievable. Look at that purple. All right. Came right out of that. Another one ate the elk hair caddis. I am finding more and more fish as soon as I can keep going up. I don't really know how much longer I got left here, guys. Uh, it's starting to get pretty skinny, but I'm gonna keep fishing it. Water's freezing. Guys, I have walked so damn far, okay? They catch a dink, 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 dink. Look at this guy. Oh my God, on the elk hair caddis. He was sitting in this pool underneath that big rock right there. All right, let's let him go. Look at the colors on this fish, man. Oh, they are just amazing in here. See you, buddy. Goodbye. He was in here. That thing sat for like two seconds and all of a sudden, gosh. All right, guys, we are done for the day. I'm already beat and I got a hell of a walk back. Um, but just unbelievable, unbelievable day. Uh, last video was unbelievable and today is unbelievable. I know you guys hear me say that a lot, but you know, it's just when it comes down to you putting in all the work to walk, like I've walked, I don't know, maybe two miles up above where I always stop at. And uh, this place has just got an abundance of fish. And it just keeps going and going. And I could stay here all day, but I am ready to get home. Yeah. We are uh, actually going to eat our sub right now before we head back out of here. Drink a little bit of old water. Throat's pretty dry. I still got a hoodie on. Um, it got a little bit warmer, but it's not to the point where I don't have to wear this hoodie. So, but... That should pretty much tell you how nice and cool this place stays if I can wear a hoodie the entire time. <sighs> hey guys, if you like the video, leave that thumbs up like I told you in the last one. It helps me get to other people and it helps, it just helps the community all together. And uh, it'll help you guys in the future because I'm gonna, we start getting more and more subs like we've been you just never know what can happen, you know? 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe. Again, thank you guys. Talk to you guys later.